But what do you expect? We're trying to put brand new seats in a 21 year old machine. What's up ladies and gentlemen, machines and machine freaks, how you guys doing? I'm actually doing this video in reverse because the Apex, we'll get to that later on in the video. Um, parts just didn't really, well you'll, you'll find out. What we're going to focus on now is the Jeep seats. If you follow my Instagram, you already know what the new ones look like. Or if they're in the tag picture, you already know what they look like. But it looks like this one was a chew toy for some sort of dog. So instead of just, you know, making these seats nice or putting covers on them, I splurged, I got the nice ones. Very important piece of information. Two Jeep front seats barely fit in the back seat of a Duramax. Sucker's even making me have better posture right now. I had to move my seat up. There's the back side of the seats, and as you can already see, they got the racing cutouts for the seat belts. I'll flip it around. I gotta keep it clean, you know? Everything around here is a mess, but I gotta keep these things clean so they're gonna stay on the cardboard. Aren't those suckers tight? Black and red, black and red. And we got the four point harnesses because the seat belts that were, you know, with the vehicle, well, somebody got uh, over spray on them when they went to Ghetto Fabulous, so we're not gonna reuse those. Can't reuse that. And plus, these things look sexy. We got the turbo, so we're gonna need the four point harnesses. We just gotta mock up these existing plates here. You can see I did some patchwork here, so there's not a hole, I'll have to drill that. Then over here I need to put some sort of uh, spacer or something because as you can see, I cut out some of the channeling and just and just put flat there. These seats said they weren't supposed to fit this thing, but we're gonna change that. Every, every. So it looks like this thing can work. All we gotta do is drill one hole. This one lines right up. Um, I don't know which one I wanna take advantage of here. One down, four to go. All right, so I got our first hole drilled. Now I can't drill, I can't drill the second one yet because I don't know, we're using different seats and it's gonna have different geometry. But basically, another thing is, is we have to cut this out and, and weld this washer in there before we proceed drilling that second hole as well. So we're moving to the passenger side and the passenger side is a little bit more complicated because that's where uh, people usually get in and out of the vehicle. Now, unlike most Jeep Wranglers, I don't plan on having a back seat. I'll have my shotgun rider and that's it. I like the whole idea behind a pickup truck. I kind of would like this to have that same option. Saying that, let's take this apart and see what the heck we can come up with here. This thing is weird, and I think it's bent and a lot of other things. All right, we have our passenger side painted up, and I have fixed all of its mounting holes. So this is gonna sound really sick and twisted, but I'm actually doing the passenger side first before the driver's side. I'm the driver. What am I doing wrong here? So I'm installing the passenger side first, but I've done all the hard work on the driver's side. I've learned from uh, the mistakes. So what I ended up doing was I put the seat belts through here on the seat, and I'll show you that once I put them on here.
so I ran into a little bit of a problem and you probably may be able to see it right now or maybe you won't be able to see it right now well you know how I had to I welded these things on here instead of um, instead of drilling stuff I just you know took this bolt out of here slid it up and then welded it well I was thinking by just changing that dimension that it would be good and I could now put it on my seat that isn't the case both dimensions are off both the length and the width as you can see I have this side bolted down, one bolt there, one bolt under there, and then over here, this is where the bolt should be, but it's about two inches to the right of it. So that will not work. So this is the second thing, you're about to see the second thing. This is the second thing that just hasn't gone right today. But what do you expect? We're trying to put brand new seats in a 21 year old machine. You're gonna have to do some customization. You're gonna have to get your machine on. It's getting late, so I'm gonna put the first section of the video in right now. We are starting our day out. At the part store, of course. If you want heaven, just let me know, oh, oh. That's what we're after. Oh. You'll, you'll never guess my luck. Uh, they don't have them, and I was I was banking on that these guys would have them in stock. That's why I didn't order them. But now I gotta run like 10 miles over and go get them because it's a it's a Yamaha part. It's not like a Ford, a Chevy, or you know a Dodge part. So the question is, is it better or is it worse? Sweet. So let me bring you up to speed. I have the new spark plugs here. The new coils for the sled are over there. Now I've already pre-checked this one and they're supposed to be anywhere from 0.7 millimeter to 0.8 millimeter, the spark plug uh, you know, distance. They're already pre-gapped, so we don't have to worry about that. We can slap them right in along with the coils and see if this thing runs. However, I did check over the sled and see if there was any nests or any chewed wires, and fortunately there's nothing, so we're good. Before, after. New coils came in relatively quick. I mean, we were just working on the Apex a couple days ago. Uh, I got some good news and bad news about these. The good news is they're brand new. The bad news is they're brand new and they're they're not originals. They're aftermarket. I talked to the guy up the road, Dave. Uh, he's he's pretty knowledgeable on this stuff, and he says that the aftermarket stuff doesn't always usually it doesn't work the best, or it may not even work. So I got brand new coils. Now we got to see if they work, which is crazy to think. They look the same. This one's missing a boot, but they look the same. I will slap these in, and then after I slap all four of them in, I'm gonna swap out uh, a few of the good looking ones. There's two good looking ones of the old coils, because I kind of want to see if, if they're really roached, if the, the ohm thing wasn't working, if it was just spark plugs. Kind of want to see, you know, investigation. Speaking of investigations and mysteries, go to machinemerch.com now. Get your free mystery item for every apparel item you get, whether it's a flat brim hat, a snapback, a sweatshirt, a t-shirt, anything. If you put it on your body and you look super fly wearing it, you'll get a free keychain or air caps or, or some random mystery item. Try it out. Let the mystery begin. We seem to have a flaw, and maybe you'll see it, and maybe you won't, but on the old one, you can see it goes right across from our, our connector. This one dips down. Now what that means is when I'm putting this in there, it's not really grabbing the head of the spark plug. So, well, so we're dead in the water right off the bat. All right, so we're two for two. Spark plugs were a disaster and the coils were a disaster. So now we're gonna change our focus and I'm actually gonna re-engineer this video. You'll see the, the seats before and what I just went through now. So there you have it. I hope you guys enjoyed this 3D Machines production. We need some customization that needs to be done. We need some new parts. Things just need to happen. Stay froggy fresh. Get your mystery on. Go to machinemerch.com. Cop yourself something fly. Get a mystery item. Until next time, 3D Machines out. Ooh, that Christmas time.